So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video we are going to talk about how we can model this game props using blender this is very easy and cool trick so i will show you how you can make very easy this kind of things basically so let's start it and for making these things we'll start from the cube and that's uh, very basic things to do that let's figure it out how we can create this gaming props so first of all here you can see we'll just create this uh, part so for that what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna scale this cube something like that and something like that also i think this is look awesome in my opinion yeah everything look good to go you can see from the top view also and after that i'm just gonna delete this the top faces and uh, it's look nice okay after that what i'm gonna do i'll just uh, uh, add uh, some as loops here so basically i'm just gonna add one two three uh, i think four as loops look nice to me and i'm just gonna do bevel press any control b yeah something like that and i'm just gonna add uh, another loop in between those bevel edges yeah which is look nice then i'm just gonna do select only the middle bevel edges which is i have added all right then i'm just gonna my top view and from here i'm just gonna scale little bit inside something like that i think that much scale is look nice to me and now here you can see we have uh, some wooden effect here which is look nice all right after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna create this part basically for creating this part i'm just gonna select the top view i'm just gonna do e extrude okay and then i'm just gonna e and give it the right click okay and after that i'm just gonna press the e and again i'll just press the left click and gonna scale pressing the s something like that here you can see and i'm just gonna extrude it yeah so now here you can see we have uh, this part here also which is look nice now i'll just create this a uh, front part so for creating the front part we can like extrude from the here also and we can like uh, make separately so i'm just gonna make it separately right now okay okay so for that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add one cube here scale this cube and uh, move it here to here keep it here move it here keep it here yeah look awesome move it here all right and i'm just gonna apply the scale then i'm just gonna add one bevel modifier here and this look awesome by the way all right this is look also look nice to me now we'll just create this part so for creating the, this part what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna my front view basically left view and i'll just add one uh, it's like plane here okay we can like we can take planes and we can take any things basically so i think i'll take the plane and i'm just going to change the line as a view and keep my plane here okay and i'm just going to scale it from here to here yeah something like that look awesome to me apply the scale and then uh, i'll just extrude it a little bit yeah i think that much just would look nice to me i'm just gonna select my both uh, faces i'm just gonna my left view and i'll just do control b like bevel it and awesome yeah this look nice by the way okay it's worked to me now here you can see we have uh, this kind of things here now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna press the three for my face mode and i'm just gonna e for uh, basically i for insert and I'll again do shift R. We will just get the same depth. I'm just going to delete the both faces and inside faces also. Both bottom side faces. And I'll just select this one and this one and do F basically. All right. And after that, I'm just going to select both faces and I'll just do fill something like that yeah this look awesome 
fill 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 and we'll also fill this one this one and this one look nice <laughs> All right, guys. Now here you can see we have uh, this kind of things here, and which is look nice to me. We can do a little bit of scale if we want, but I think so. We don't require to scale it. Look nice to me. We can do scale a little bit this way. All right. Apply the scale first of all. Now what I'm gonna do basically, I'm just gonna move it here, and I'll just do Shift D and X. Yes, and again I'm just gonna repeat the command look nice i'm just gonna scale this one little bit downside something like that and uh, i'll just move it here to here i'll keep it here and i'm just gonna duplicate this one yes and keep it here now what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna join all of them Control j right click set all in the geometry i'm just gonna edit mode of this and i'm just gonna select this this edge not this edge and this edge as in the f okay yeah basically what we can do basically i'll just do bridges loop something like that look nice same thing i'm just gonna select this one and this one right click bridges loop yeah look nice and same thing i'm just gonna select no, no 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 i think we have to select this one and this one and bridges loop yeah look nice and now i'm just gonna select this one and this one bridges loop now here you can see we have uh, this kind of things here which is look nice nice by the way okay now we'll just create these uh, wooden planks here so for that i'm just going to my front view and I'll just add one uh, cube here, scale it, keep it a little bit here, move it, and I'm just gonna scale it first of all. I think that much scale is look nice to me. I'm just gonna edit mode of this. And after that, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna enable my X-ray view, scale it a little bit, and disable the X-ray view move it and keep it here by the way yeah from the front view i'm just gonna move basically not not basically move i'm just gonna scale it keep it here we need to like rotate it and keep it here look awesome by the way yeah this is gaming prop, so we can do a little bit uh, like edgy things also. There is no issue to do that. Yeah. Look awesome. Go front view. Shift D. Rotate. Awesome. Looking okay, nice to me. Okay, we can just duplicate this one and keep it here rotate it to the scale it move it keep it here looking awesome shift d keep it here but make sure rotate it a little bit inside and move it here all right now you can see this is look also nice to me now what i'm going to do basically i'll just add these legs here so for adding the legs i'm just going to my front view okay basically we have to uh yeah look nice now i'm just gonna add one uh, cylinder here all right make sure that should be 16 vertices align as a view you can see look awesome yeah looking nice by the way front view 
and keep it here by the way a little bit of scale apply the scale what we can do basically we are making a low poly thing so we can just create a things from here like this. store it scale it extrude it scale it extrude it scale it keep it inside store it look nice yeah awesome front shift d keep it here move inside shift d y Rotate something like that 180 minus 180. Keep it here. Look awesome to me. We are almost good to go. I'll just make these things. I'll just add one cube here. Scale it and pull it top view. Keep it here. And I'm just gonna move it a little bit downside, something like that. Yeah, look awesome. Top view, Shift D, Y, give it here. We are good to go. Now we have to create these things. So for that, what I'm gonna do basically, first of all, we need some, uh, like what we can say. Some supporting props, scale it, yes, move it, keep it here, <coughs> have to just go to my top view, scale it, left view, move it, scale it down, keep it, Rotate Rotate this thing something like that move it keep it Yes, look awesome to me Shift D We have to just rotate it from the another side. Now we can just go to edit mode of both of object to a little bit down. Keep it here. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna select those edges. Extrude it. Basically, first of all, I'm just gonna extrude it. Okay, keep it straight. Look awesome. Then I'm just gonna extrude it. X. And again, X. Hmm. Okay, we'll make some exaggeration so it will look a little bit fluffy. We'll do see if we forget to like select those faces, fill it. Yeah, look awesome. We'll make some exaggerations. It will feel like a little bit fabric. And what we can do basically, we can select all of those vertices a little bit outside, make some alterations. Okay. And now we can select both of them. Select both and move it and keep it here yeah it does look nice by the way this is good for our gaming and here you can see we are good to go now here you can see guys we have successfully completed this 
gaming props and which is look nice by the way so here i have shown some tricks to you how you can create these things and how you can create the cloth things also now here you can see if i'm just gonna add some exaggerations here we can add it okay we can add one as loop here and we can uh, create some another exaggerations here so it will feel like cloth see something like that all right guys hope you enjoyed this video and if you learned something from this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries or information please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys and love you all Thank you.